Hey, happy Sunday evening. I thought I would just jump on here. I <laughs> My internet, it's so stinky. Okay, I thought I'd just jump on here and go over the meal planning that I'm currently doing. I'm getting ready to go grocery shopping tomorrow. Brian and I were supposed to do that this weekend, but the weekend happened. And so, hey Tish, how you doing? I hope you had a good weekend. And so we're going to do it tomorrow morning, first thing. That's one of the great things about um, being self-employed, right? We can decide to grocery plan or grocery shop on a Monday morning. Um, so what we do is um, we only do a really big meal planning and grocery six times a year. We do um, about eight weeks at a time. Now, I did not arrive at this place overnight. Um, you know, when we were first married, we might shop for a week. And then at one point we thought, hey, let's just do two. And then it went to a month. And then I don't even know how many years ago, but we decided let's go for two months. We would probably even go for more, but storage becomes an issue. Even though we have a decent pantry and extra fridge and freezer, we just run out of space. By tomorrow night, it's going to be packed. Um, I don't know if we're going to hit Costco tomorrow, but um, it'll take us about three hours to go to Aldi and Walmart. And But then we don't have to do what we're doing um, again for until it's, it's going to be the week before Thanksgiving, before I have to really think about this again. We go every week and buy produce and milk. Brian usually does that in conjunction with just dropping off some kids at dance on Saturday mornings, and he pretty much buys the exact same thing every week, so it's super quick. The more you can stay out of the grocery store, the more money you save. So, um, plus, you know, who wants to grocery like and go through the process every single week? So, this is how I do it. So, over the years, I've compiled a database of... Um, meals. And I typed mine out in an access database because I'm a huge computer nerd. But, um, you know, you could just have a simple list. But I've got over 125 different meals. I will link to the um, posts that I've done before where you can have access to the Google Doc where you have all my meals, all my dinners. And if you need a recipe, just let me know and I will hook you up with that. So I throw that list out on the table with highlighter and I tell my children, mark what you want. And so they go through and they mark it. So I'm not the one having to come up with it. Now, there was a time where I had time and I enjoyed perusing the cookbooks and coming up with meals. I don't have that kind of time right now. So we pretty much just stick with what we have here. Um, yeah, I don't cruise the Pinterest boards anymore looking for new recipes. So, um, anyway, so after I do that, then I go into that access database and I click the ones that I want and then it generates this Word doc with all the lists. And so it's eight weeks, um, seven days a week of our dinners. Now that doesn't mean like I can say on, you know, Tuesday the 12th, we will have this. No, I pick that every morning. Uh, based on what the schedule looks like and often because we're more home for lunch We actually will have our dinner meal at lunch and then Dinner is just leftovers because half the time half the people aren't here to eat and I'm not here to cook So that's what we, so after I get this that has all the different meals um, Then I sit down with my cookbooks and my grocery list and again, all of these are in that post that I'm going to link to this so you can, um, and better pictures. So I go through my grocery list and I circle what we need and how many. And that's something that my mom started. I mean, way back when I was a kid, she had mimeographed copies. They were like her handwriting and she had them mimeographed so they had that funky smell. Um, probably lost brain cells sniffing those things. But um, anyway, so that's what taught me how to do this. And we try and have it in order of the grocery store, but <laughs> thank you, Tish. <laughs> um, but the grocery, you know, gets irritating because they switch it up 
Hey, Dawn, it was so good seeing you today. I just, like, loved hugging y'all. That was awesome. Um, so, yeah, so my grocery list are you at in order of the grocery store, like, two years ago. But we just do what we can. So, anyway, and so I sit down with my cookbooks and I write down what I need. Um, most of them I have memorized, but a word of caution, don't re if you're anything like me, um, don't rely on your brain. You know, actually take the time, take seconds, because these are obviously recipes you've used a ton. Flip them open and go down the list because that's so irritating when you don't have everything you need. So anyway, that's how we do this. So I'll link to the post that has a little more information and pictures that you can see what's in it. And then tomorrow, if I'm really organized, I'm going to try and um, visually take you along on what this looks like in getting about four to five carts of grocery done in three hours. And yeah, we used to take the um, receipt and measure it against one of the children <laughs> and see who, who was tall. Is this like a, you know, a four-year-old receipt or is this a six-year-old receipt? So anyway, so that's what we have for you tonight. And if you have any questions, let me know um, because it, this seems overwhelming, but it really, it really, really, really makes your life easier. It saves money because you stay out of the store and you just have what you need to make the meals. So anyway, that's it. And I'll come back at y'all tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. It is, sweetie, what time is it? 8.55. It is 8.55. And we are about to embark on our big eight weeks worth of grocerying for upwards of 11 people. So this is what the back of the bus looks like right now. Pretty empty, empty cooler. And we are going to go and acquire large quantities of food. So stay tuned for that and we'll show you how we get this done. It's a little crazy, but it's fun. We're not taking anyone with us. It's just Brian and I. Normally we do take we like to take a large child to help actually push the carts um, and we'll sometimes take small children, but the large children need to be doing their school and the small children just slow us down and we need to be fast today. So when we had just a whole bunch of little children, we would take everyone because we had to. And um, we actually had people that would come up to us and ask if they were, if we were filming for a reality TV show. So it's like, no, this is just our life. Usually people ask us if we run um, some sort of group home when they're behind us in the checkout. But, and again, no, that's, this is just us. So anyway, um, stay tuned for this getting filled with food. Bye. All right. It's 950 something. We're about an hour since we left home and we are done at Walmart. First stop done. So we don't buy as much at Walmart anymore. Um, and we had bought some of our dairy over the weekend, um, our yogurt, our cottage cheese, because we were out and we needed to restock. So that wasn't included, but for the most part, Walmart's pretty quick. So next stop, here we go. We are off to Aldi. See you later. And we are done. It is almost exactly two hours from when we left home. And we now have about eight weeks of staples, of grocery staples that we will then get our army of children to load into our house and put away. That's honestly, I have a love hate with that part because I love organizing it and seeing that it's my pantry is full and the blessing of that but then at the same time it's just that's a pain <laughs> um, to put it away and with the children and the cat and everything underfoot but whatever so anyway there it is and that is how we do it and we don't have to do this again until the week before Thanksgiving so this is probably the last time we get to do it without a heavy coat for 
a few months. So that's kind of a bummer. But anyway, if you have any questions, let me know. And we'll be talking to you. Love y'all. Bye. One more quick thing. I said when we started that people used to ask if we're a daycare or a group home. When we shop, I got sign of the times. I got a new one today. Um, I was asked if I'm shopping for Instacart. So, because <laughs> they saw my fancy list. And so she was wondering if this was my job. It is my job, but unfortunately I don't get paid monetarily for it. So anyway, I just thought that was funny. Times have changed. All right, bye.